Hi, this video I'm going to demonstrate what is query stripping and how to make use of query stripping for your report. So basically this query stripping is going to improve the performance of your report. So I will tell you where we can use the query stripping and what is the purpose of query stripping. So for example, when you have a large sized report which has more than 100 dimensions or uh, report objects are used in your, inside your report. So whenever you refresh the query, it is going to refresh all your objects and it is going to get the data from data source. So for example, if you have uh, selected 100 objects but you have not utilized all the 100 objects inside your report. So at this time, if you refresh this query, it is going to process for all the 100 objects, even the objects are not used inside your report. So if that is the case, it is going to affect the performance. So we can use a query strip and you can refresh only the objects which you utilized in your report. So the prerequisites are we have to enable the query stripping at the universe level. In the universe level, I have to enable this query stripping. So we can select this, this uh, universe name or uh, business layer name and go to query options and you can see allow query stripping. Just enable this and save this and publish to the repository. Once I published, I can refresh my universe. Go to universe. This is my universe, right? I can refresh all the universes in my repository. So I will get the latest version. So if that query is not processed properly, what you can do is you can just close this out. I mean, you can totally close this out to make uh, the query, the latest query available in your repository. So you can do either refresh your query or you can just sign out and sign in again to get the latest query from our post. So once you are enabled in a query level or in a business uh, layer level, we have to enable in the report query level. And even we have a same uh, query stripping option available inside our document layer. I'll select this one, Sales Universe. So once I loaded the universe, you can see the objects. So if I want to have billing status, delivery status, and these two measures, right? And if you go to query options. Or query properties and here you can see enable queries just enable this click ok and release query so so far we have enabled in business layer and uh, query layer in the web intelligence report right so now you can see the value so basically we are uh, using two uh, dimensions and two measures I'll show the query properties Before the top one level you can see it has enabled as we enable in a query level So now due to some issue I don't want to show browse on it or uh, due to some requirement change I don't want to show cross on it I'll answer like this so as you can see, 
we have four objects but we have utilized only three for our report so once i change this we play the fresh you can see that graph somewhat has highlighted and a bold all right because it is just highlighting us uh, to say something this cross amount is not utilized in our query or in our report so if i go to edit query and if i choose the query uh, script viewer you can see building status delivery status and net amount so there is no cross amount here so it means query has built only for the objects which we utilized inside our report even though we have selected all the four in the query window we can see only three the one which we utilized inside our report so if i drag and drop these two report again so it is asking us to refresh as it, it needs to create a new query based on the cross amount so just click this so now we got the data and uh, there is no highlight here it means we are utilized all the data all the objects in a report so if i go to edit i go to query and you can see all the columns are available here so actually by seeing this we can understand what is the purpose of query stripping and how we can make use of this query stripping to boost our report performance Thank you.